Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, for those that showed up for the live stream on the weekend, thank you for stopping by. I hope it was a lot better than the last one. At least we were babysitting a 14,000 ton machine as it clung on to, its, to the rails for dear life as it made its way down. Uh, next time I do something like that, I'm definitely going to put a little more effort into it. Uh, try to think it through a little more, and I have been thinking of some ideas. Uh, we ended up... Uh, I ended up doing a little bit more testing on the elevator. I tried to see if I could get it to work, and yeah, it's it's not working. The block, the rails actually held up. The hard, heavy armor blocks did hold, but yeah, uh, I have to rethink how I'm doing things. Maybe, maybe it's a it's a code thing. Maybe the game doesn't know that rotor. Well, as far as I'm concerned, if something like this works, that should work. But, if you're wondering what this is, this is the other thing I ended up doing. I ended up building a giant, or not a giant, but I ended up making a mechanical centipede. And, un unfortunately, it didn't turn out the way I was hoping. Uh, one of the biggest drawbacks was uh, I didn't make the gap in between the legs big enough. So, I, I had to sort of cut them short. Now, it just looks like a mutated spider. Uh, so, today, I'm actually going to redesign this. I want to make it look a little bit better. I'm going to try, try to get the exoskeleton up on top. And I have been thinking about the articulation here. Uh, in each section, I have uh, a rotor here for, say, vertical. Yeah, vertical rotation, but it is uh, technically locked. Uh, I have installed Build Vision 2.2, which is by Dark Helmet, and it's basically rewritten from some uh, the original author of the Build Vision. And I don't remember the name. Give me a second. The original Build Vision was by Jim Mackle. But this is in the, in the workshop. It's dark helmet. It's, uh, it allows you to do basically use it in the uh, scroll wheel and uh, uh, mouse wheel button. You can actually go through the list and change things, uh, change all the things. The only thing you can't do is actually change the name. And this is something I would like to do, but this does come in handy when I'm setting stuff up. So uh, when I'm working on something like this and I don't want those rotors to rotate because they start unlocked, I can just, before I put anything on here, I don't even have to go to a terminal. I just go over here, go down to rotor lock. Oh, uh, oh. yeah, that's uh, what happens when you push, try to scroll too hard and you actually click. But yeah, anyway, so that's definitely just coming in handy. Um, trying to get things like this grouped does make it difficult because I can't actually rename it from here. So what I'm going to do is when I build this, because I do in a way want these grouped. It's very very simple timer setup. and. I can show you right here. It's nothing more than just uh, reversing the legs. Uh, timer blocks in here somewhere. Yes, a lot of colors in this one. And there we go. So it's just basically reversing the rotors and then re-triggering the timer block. And I have the rotors set up so uh, they're opposite each other. So if this one over here is backwards, this one is forward. If this one is up, this one is down. It's just basically up and forward down and back, up and forward, down and back, and that's all you need for any type of multi-legged walker other than a bipedal. But yeah, uh, it's definitely looking like a rainbow in here. Number of rotors on this thing. Anyway, so the first thing I gotta do is I gotta tear this thing apart. And I have made a blueprint of this one, but I haven't uh, put it up in the workshop because it didn't look like I wanted it to look like. So let me uh, tear this down. I, I think I have some inventory space. I think I can fit it. Anyway, uh, let me do some work and I'll be right back. I don't know what it is, but there's something enjoyable about using the grinder to tear stuff apart. Kind of makes makes it all fun, right? Ah, I'm not going to worry about that one. I haven't been finding too much. I think I got... Uh, what did I get? I think I got a zombie helmet or something like that. I'm actually trying to get the slime suit myself. I have the helmet and the gloves already, but it's still a long way to go. And... Don't even ask me about how many rainbow suits I have. Jeez, if I sell, I think I have enough. I could actually buy a, a one dollar game if I sold them all. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is gonna be multiple grid, and I do want to keep things fairly. Uh, safe, I'll call it. I don't know. Uh, one thing I did realize too is that using this. Uh, uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm getting lost in my own game here. Uh, yeah, I made a discovery about the gravity line local grid line. And uh, I didn't know about uh, the gravity line actually 
lining up to a grid like that which is really handy so we're gonna go with like this and I did choose a color for this and I believe it was yes it's still in there good so this is the brown I'm gonna use and I'm just putting the leg down for now as a place to lock it you know that's a, that's how we build in this game we don't use jacks we have landing gear so I'm gonna build it up a little bit and the first section I want to put in is the reactor if I could actually place the blocks properly uh, it is not gonna be that tall of a creature we'll call it uh, so yeah let's go ahead and go a couple more up I gotta make sure that I don't cover up the conveyor port on the reactor again because I made that mistake and I had to take off one end uh, this is going to be sort of a call three-way control. You'll be able to control it manually. You'll be able to control it uh, semi-autonomously by being in the cockpit, just pushing buttons, and you'll also be able to control it from the outside. Or it's what, what I try to refer to as out-of-cockpit control. I don't know, what would that be? O OOC or OCC? All right, so yeah, it's uh, originally I had five by fives. I think I'm gonna go nine by nines. Uh, three, four, four on this side. One, two, two, three, four. And that's okay. I think I have enough plates. Actually, not as many as I thought I had. Oh, well, so then it's gonna be a nine this way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I could actually build. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that is good. Pick that off. Um, I was thinking about the legs. Like I would like to have a nine by nine in between nine blocks between all legs, but then that starts getting really excessively big. And I think seven blocks should be enough. So when I put the legs on, the legs are actually going to be here and here, not on the corners. Uh, and I'm actually wondering if I should go with seven. No, this should be okay. Yeah, so just like that, and there's going to be sort of like an articulated section in the back here. And I'm going to be using basically two rotors. And it's going to come off this side here. I'm going to put a small rotor. That's not a rotor. That's a rotor. Put a rotor there. Uh, this is where the build division comes in handy. Nope. Uh, yeah. There we go. Control click. Or control middle click. And we're going to go here and just gonna lock it all right and then the next one uh, I'm gonna put another block here and they are gonna go up I was thinking about doing it differently too about having a sort of both pistons on the same block but I don't know how it do for weight and all that so we're gonna go one more over here and one here and then we're gonna put another rotor down here another block no not there uh, yeah, that is actually something I discovered too on the, during the stream, it's, uh, you know, things like the, the reactor here, even though it's not a perfectly square shape, even though it does have gaps here, if you have a rotor here, the, the collision hitbox will actually cause the rotor to push out. And I was having issues, like I, th I was thinking that the rotors couldn't handle the weight, and then I realized it came to, came to me that had to do something with this, so I moved the rotor over one block and it was, it was fine. So, yeah, uh, is that how I had it? Yeah, I had it like that, and then it was two more like so, and then back up, and like that, and then it continued on the frame. So then what that's going to be is there's going to be a five block gap in here. Should be a five block. One, two, three, four. Yeah, a five block gap, and this is actually where the next frame is going to start. And I actually forgot to lock that. Yeah, just like so. Yeah, just like that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these sections built. I have decided I'm going to go with 36 legs on this. Uh, centipedes don't have 100 legs, if, in case you were wondering about that. that centipedes actually have it. I've looked it up before. This isn't the first time I've built, tried to build one of these. And they actually have between, I think it was between 32 and 40 legs, depending on the species of the centipede. So I'm just going to be going like a 36. I was going to do 32, but it ended up being 36. And that's what I'm going to go with. So let me get the frame all set up. I'm going to have to set up, set up a couple more of these anchor points as I go along because of the sag. And then I'll bring you back when that's done.
All right, so there we go. I have nine sections here. One that looks a little smaller. It's just perspective in this game. Maybe I, I adjust my field of view. Maybe that has something to do with it. But anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're on the C train here. All right, so what I got to do next, because I'm about to die if I don't, is get another cockpit on here. I do have the generator hooked up uh, when I was taking apart the original or not generator reactor. The thing that generates power using highly radioactive stuff that should kill me even though it's in my pocket right now. But uh, yeah, uh, I was taking apart the other one there and the back end dropped down where the reactor was and it got a little bit of a bump and it was like in a damaged state and I was thinking, oh no, there goes the reactor components and I have to go, go all the way back to the base to get it which is 25 kilometers or something like that, I have no idea. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and, oh yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to use the mouse wheel to rotate, but I want to put it right here, and I'm putting it right there because it won't let me place it on the edge of the block unless I have a block there, if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I do have all the piston, the rotors in, I'm not going to put any of the rotors in until, on until I actually, I don't need the glass right now. I actually get this set up because I want to be able to actually group these uh, the only thing about using the build vision with this for breaking torque it's in, a te in 10 kilonewtons at a time and basically I want this to be like 1 or 10 or something like that um, before I took the other one apart I actually tried to see how flexible it was and it was solid like it was absolutely rigid oh yeah fuel might help Okay, good. Go over here this time. Alright, I love that little beep. I'll let you know it's working. Let's hop in here and charge up. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to hop in here actually. I'm going to take all these rotors. Is that all there is? One, two, there should be 18 of them. One, two, three. No, no, 16 is right, because I got nine sections with eight articulations. All right, we're actually going to group these as U-joints, because that's basically all they are. All right, I'm not going to worry about naming them. I think I could probably do a group name na rename, can't I? Apparently not. But anyways, and that, what I want to do basically with these is I want the breaking torque, like, minimal. Let's say 10 newtons. Like, just enough to hold it in place so it doesn't sort of sway around. Uh, yeah, I could probably even go up to 100. But that doesn't matter right now because we're not going to be doing anything with, with that at the moment. And this way, it gives me a chance to actually unlock them better. All right, so now the next thing is, since I'm charged up, is to actually get the rest of this frame filled in. And I'll bring you back and we'll get the other rotors on. Okay, now that this is done, we're going to start adding the rotors. Uh, I'm going to be adding them in sets, and that's so I can group them together. Now, the, the whole thing about this is, like I was saying, the opposite legs are, well, the opposing legs are going opposite. So this one will be going forward while this one goes back. While this one's going back, this one will be going forward. If this one's going forward, this one's going back. Sort of deal. So I want to be able to group them so I have better control over them in case I want to adjust timings and whatnot. Now, since this is a 9 by 9 there's a 5 block gap. If I put a rotor here... I won't put it there because I actually want to group these, but if I put one there, there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then another rotor here, and I actually want that one there because that's going to be line up with that. And that leaves a seven block gap. Three, four, five, six. I'm supposed to leave a seven block gap. Did I do this wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, go figure. I made one too short, I think. Let me think about this for a second. Okay, so it appears I was off my calculations. I don't know what I was thinking, but this still works. If I put the rotor here, it's still a six block gap, which should leave more than enough room for it to move. So yeah, so it's gonna be on this side, it's gonna be the rotor's gonna be here, right? It's fairly simple. Keep going like this. And then on the other side, thank God there isn't too many to place yet. 
over here. Then we go up back up to the front. And then these ones here are going to be moving with these ones here. And this will actually still work. Gives a six block gap here and a six block gap in between here. So plenty of room. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, almost done here. We'll go and finish this up. I'm not going to put anything on them. I'm not going to fill them in or anything like that because they seem to stay in the original position until you put, put so much as touch to put something next to it or something like that. And I want them to stay at zero. So if I hop in here, uh, the ones that are incomplete, and of course I have to go through here and select them all, there's going to be 18 of them. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. So those are going to be, uh, we'll label those uh, 1S because the group uh, shoulders, S for shoulders, 1 for group. So we'll save that. Okay. And then before I forget, we're going to go ahead and lock all those. Uh, these ones could actually use a fair amount of braking torque, so we'll do 250, just because. Uh, the limits, I believe, this is where having a group comes in handy. So I'm going to do a negative 5 and a plus 5, and then we'll figure out, I can figure out the velocities afterwards, but I originally had a 2 RPM, so we could try 3. 3 RPM and is there anything else I need to adjust here? No. Uh, when it comes, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get the other set done. I actually, to make this a lot easier, I gotta fill th these in so I can know which rotors I'm dealing with. So I'm gonna get the next set on and then uh, we'll get to the part of start building the rest of the legs. Okay, so that is done. These are that's group one. And that's group one, that's group two, that's group two, that's group one. Uh, that'll come into play later. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and start building the legs. And I do have a color already picked out for this one too. If I go on here, I'm going to go with this nice orange. Yes, I know, I should be sick of this color by now. But I'm going to do it. In fact, if I really do want to get more like how a centipede actually looks because the picture that I have, it's more of a lighter orange, and then it goes to a more of a redder orange afterwards. So the, the first top section here, we're gonna go with this lighter orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out which way I'm supposed to be placing this block. I'm gonna do it that way, and then I'm gonna probably go out one, two, three, four. Is that gonna be enough? So I still have to have a few blocks for the, the the knee, I'll call it. And then it's going to be coming down at an angle, and I want to make sure I have enough room. So I think I'm going to do it that way. So I've got four blocks there. And then I'm going to do that the same on all of these. Yeah, hey, I hit the right button this time. Two, three, four. And then uh, once I get th those done, I'll bring you back and ask you what I'm going to do while I'm doing this. And I'm going to show you in case you haven't seen it before, it is this is how I've been placing the motors. I use the slopes and I create sort of these. I got that in the wrong spot. Yes, I do. Hang on, let me uh, fix this. Take that out. So, what it was is I actually put it on the end here. Go back to the slope and like so. Let me go here and like that and like so. So then the rotor goes here and then I repeat this sort of C section on the other side for the rest of the leg. So I'm going to get this on all the legs and I'll bring you back and then we'll get to the second half of the rotors. And there we go. Uh, one of the things I did realize too is because uh, the rotors on the other side need to go, I believe, do need to go a different direction. If this one is going to be going forward, it's going to be going, I think, a positive. If this one's going forward, it's actually going to be going a negative. But uh, I got them grouped. Uh, that's where the build vision comes in handy. I can actually just go right up to it and actually, if I can get right on it, there we go. And I can go down in here and there should be a reverse right at the bottom. I gotta make sure to hit reverse and not detach head. 
because I've done that before, and that kind of sucks having to rebuild a wheel, or rebuild a leg, and it really sucks if you do it to that, which I haven't done yet, but we're not going to worry about that, we're not going to think about it, because that's when accidents happen. Alright, so now we're going to go into a bit of a darker color here. So I'm just going to bring it a little more on the red side. Let's see if we can darken it a little bit. Yeah, so we're on there. Alright, so then I'm going to do the same thing where I place half the rotors on. On the group A, for instance, this one and that one, and this one and that one. And I'm going to group them, fill those in, and then group the other half, and then I'll bring you back for that. Okay, now that that's done, there's really only one thing left to do. Let's put the rest of the, rest of the legs on. And so what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to do like I was saying. I'm going to do this. And like so. And then for the legs themselves, we're going to just do it this way. And go from here. Now I'm going to try to get it just a few blocks lower than that if I can. And just for clearance sake. Helps if I stop moving. You get the idea. Now here's where the cl it gets tricky. Like uh, I'm starting to get, I need to get a little bit lower. And I should have built this thing a little bit higher to be honest. But I don't want to be digging holes in the ground if I don't have to. So let's see here. If I can get my right keys, yes, do that. That. Now what I need to do is I actually need to get a tire on the end of this. And I actually know how to do that. What I'll do is I'll fill in all the legs. And then we'll power it up. And as the legs lift up, we'll put the tires on. And as the other legs lift up, we'll put the tires on. So let me get this done and I'll bring you back. And there we have it. Uh, a couple of the rotors seem to have moved a little bit. Uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, we'll figure it out. So now let's go ahead and hop in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the control panel. I'm going to take the knees and group one. I'm going to unlock these and see what happens. Okay. So let's see what we did here. I should reverse them. Let's see what's going on here. Reverse, not detach. Let's actually unlock the, uh, this set too. Okay, and reverse those. So now we can hop out and actually make sure that everything's in the right way. I might go and hit that up. I found a pair of newspaper boots, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so this one is... It's unlocked, so that's going to be reversed. Why is that one... I don't know, that one's got to be down, that's right. Okay. And this one should be up. So I'll reverse this. And uh, no, I will not do that. Alright, uh, let me load up a save. Okay, so everything's basic, more or less set up. I adjusted the, the range a little bit. I'm a little worried they might hit when we turn, but we'll figure that out as we go. Alright, so now we go ahead and grab a wheel. Or a bunch of wheels. So we're going to go to the one by one. And we're just going to stick it like that, like that, and like that, and so on and so forth. Just whatever I can. That's why I got the legs up. Let's crouch down and just do this. So I'm going to finish this up and bring it back. Okay, and there's the feet. And if you're wondering why I use wheels, uh, wheels are t supposed to hit the ground numerous times. It should have the highest impact resistance. So that's why I chose the wheels on the bottom instead of the feet, or instead of the blocks. Uh, I did have, notice one of those rotors was out a little bit, but I adjusted it and it seems to be okay. So next, we're going to get a little bit of detail on this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a, an actual save right now, like a, 
like a physical backup. Why is that one out? What's going on here? See, that one should be forward. And this one should be back. Yeah, this is what I mean about having to go through here and just make a couple of minor adjustments and try not to get hurt in the process. Yeah, that's what I mean, because the reverse rotation. So I will fix that up too. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I also want to put some antennae on here because it is technically a centipede, a bug. So it's... Uh, Helps if I actually choose a slope. There's the slope. And then what I'm gonna do is get the block going the right way. Just like so. And I don't want it to be too front heavy. And I think we'll just go something like that. Just for some little bit of something. And then I'm going to try to put an exoskeleton on here. I think I should have enough plates. Yeah, because I've been finding a couple of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, little probes or whatever. Alright, so I'm going to finish up the other side and then I'm going to do a backup. And then I'll try to put an exoskeleton on here and we'll see how it runs. You know what I think we'll do before I do the save, or do the, do the backup? I think we'll get uh, all the controls set up. I went through the legs and yes, I had to reverse every single rotor on this side, as I expected, but that's, that's acceptable. So now, uh, we really only need one timer block in here to control this entire thing. I will need some gyroscopes and, oh I got the gyroscopes there, and I have the timer block already. Good. So the gyroscopes are going to be. We're going to have five gyroscopes. Uh, first one here. No, oh, it's not a gyroscope. That is. First one here. Uh, let's see. Shift P. Yes. Okay. Okay. This one here is going to be for cockpit control. So we're just going to leave that one alone. And then the next other two. Or, uh, do I need two? Yeah, okay, yeah, just two. I was thinking I was going to need five for some reason, but this will be fine. So we'll just put the other two here. We'll finish this up. Uh, no, we won't. I want to... Okay, good. That's what I want to do. Just enough to get it down to an incomplete level. So this will be the main gyroscope. This will be the one that is controlled with the cockpit. And this is how you're going to be able to control it with the mouse. So when it's walking forward, you just, it's like steering your ship. And then the other two here are going to be override. So one's going to be uh, gyroscope left. Left, not let. Okay, and the other one will be gyroscope right. Alright, okay, so now we want to have the left, what we're going to do, be doing is override controls on the yaw, and I believe, or the yaw, roll, pitch, yaw, yeah, so uh, just negative 60 one way, and then on the right, we're going to go override, negative 60 on the right, we're going to turn them both off because we're going to be controlling them with the switch. That's, uh, that's what I mean about the, the mouse control. Yeah, so uh, that is going to be fun to use, especially when we're flying it, or driving it, I should say. All right, so that's good. So we'll fill those two in, just like that, and that, and where is it? Uh, I'll go check it out in a second here. Alright, so that is good. So these two are going to be controlled by switches. Now I do want to have a little bit of a platform in the back. I'm thinking probably about here, for instance. 
but I gotta work this in with the exoskeleton. It's not gonna be much, it's probably gonna be about as high as the reactor. Uh, I do have to keep clearance for the legs, so it's gonna be obviously just to about here. And go from there. So I'm gonna go and check that out. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. Okay, I have finished. And there it is. Not 100% round, but it's definitely got some character to it. Uh, let me go ahead and charge up quickly here. I went ahead and got the, the timer block all set up and the controls and all that. So as you can see, you can control with the mouse. Uh, we have... We should have override on those. And the only thing I think I have left to do is... Uh, after we unground it, I do believe I have to unlock those rotors, the U-joints, because I think they're locked. Yes, they are. So we're going to actually put this back up to, let's go to 10,000 just because. All right, so let's go ahead and drop her down. Hopefully nothing happens to me, that is. This should be a safe spot. Good there. Next. All right, and third and final one. All right. All right. There is two things. Well, three things I actually forgot to put on here, and I'm gonna go and put them on right on the back of the carpet here because we're on a small grid, so I can actually put buttons on here, like a small button panel, not the, the big button panel that is on a large grid. And you'd think I'd be able to find it in here, but no. Actually, was that it up there? No, it was the ladder. Uh, I will find the button here. Where is it? And I'm sure someone's yelling and pointing at the screen. It's right there, it's right there, you don't see it. And silly me, I should have have it on my bar ready to go, but I never do. There it is. And it's weird. It's so misleading because you, you have three different types for, uh, or two different types, the small grid and large grid. All right, so this one here, we're going to go ahead and do that. That's going to be, uh, this is going to be timer block on off. Toggle block on off, okay. Uh, that one here is gonna be gyroscope left toggle. At least I think it's left. And that's gonna be toggle right. So now Oh yeah, I actually have to I actually have to start the whole timer to begin with. Uh, oh wait, make sure nothing's locked, okay, I might have to adjust timing on this too, alright, we are good, let's actually unlock those U-joints, and that settled very strangely, oh, uh, so now we go in here, we just go ahead and start the block, and see what happens. So yeah, it's getting a little heavy in the front there. All right, so let's go ahead and stop it. Go take a quick peek what's going on. And that's what I was worried about. I think the exoskeleton might be too heavy for it because I was having the issue with the spider, but the spider wasn't as big. And as you can see, the antenna are starting to pull it down a little bit. Might have to counterweight it, but let's, you know what? Let's actually do it from here. Watch it walk. I think it's too heavy. All right, time to load up the backup. Okay, here we are back at uh, the the skeleton frame. Yeah, I think this. What I'm gonna have to do? I know I could probably increase the, the torque on those uh, rotors, but you know, I think it's just too much weight. Lighter is always better. 
It's a little better if it falls on my head too while I'm taking out the jack. Okay, there we go. Uh, the antenna might be a little too tight, uh, a little too heavy too, but we'll figure that out as we go along. So let me uh, hop in here. Uh, I do want to, again, unlock these, but I do want to have a fair amount of torque on them. It was at 10,000 before, let's go 25,000. Enough braking force. Yeah, see it sags down the front. But, let's find out what happens. See, now it's having trouble. Slowly going. I think I know what's going on. Let's go ahead and stop this. Go in here and the the knees need to go a little faster. I'm going to move it up, this one up to the negative 12. No. That was wrong. Wait, was that right? That. What did I do wrong here? Oh, let's see what I did. I just gotta reverse them. That's all. Without breaking the game. I said without breaking the game. Okay, what did I do wrong here? I have no idea. Let's try it again. Hmm. Alright, well, the antenna have got to come off. Sadly. No, they're just too heavy. So we'll just take this off. We'll give it one more run, and then we'll probably end the episode. I wanted to give this another shot and see how it went. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna actually lock this one. Just because. See if that makes a difference. Hold on. I gotta go on backwards. I thought I had. I don't know what happened. I'm crazy. Hmm. This isn't working as well as I'd hoped. Yeah, the articulation does not make this easy. And neither does the hypersensitivity on that, that gyroscope. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I know what's going on here. Okay, I'm just finished up the last couple of them here. Uh, what's going on is what I was talking about before, about how it gets mirrored on the other side. So uh, technically they're not all positive velocity. Half of them are positive, half of them are negative. 
So when I went to change the speed, I kind of threw the timing out. I won't say the timing, but uh, the sequential order of things. So now it actually walks. Slowly. I probably could get a little more range of motion into it, but it's working, and that's good. And it is, of course, steerable. Not, not very sensitive. Actually, I probably could turn that down. But anyways, it is walking. Now, if I really wanted to, to really get technical, I probably could turn that rotation down to like two and a half or even two, just to stop the, prevent that stopping when it goes. Gotta love this dust trail. That's awesome. When I first saw the dust coming up, I thought, oh no, it's breaking itself. Let's actually see how those feet are doing. Still 100%. So that's good. And it's not digging holes in the ground. It is slow though. But it works. And with that, I think we'll call this one here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.